from Six Soto. Welcome to sample Saturday number 18. Today I have a very special sample that was sent to me by a very special artisan. It was Pete, Pete Hendricks. He sent me this sample, the James Bond. So this today is a James Bond shave. It has it's a part of his inspired by Sirius, and this is inspired by London for Men by Burberry. So, wonderful uh, five out of ten from the sample. And you know, samples they are often dulled a little by being aired and all that, um, oxidized and stuff. Wonderful scent of what do I get? Jasmine, some patchouli in the back. And then I think it's bergamot, and I think I get some juniper also, but it's a different kind of juniper, it's a more fresh one. So, bergamot, jasmine, uh, juniper and patchouli I think I get. Yeah, I do. So, I have my new uh, Deep Spaces Yachi 24mm from that professional line handle with the 24 millimeter bus knot. That's the name of the knot and not G5 as I mistakenly said in the unboxing. It's called the bus knot. Very soft, but yet it still has a little backbone just like the Ferrari brushes, kind of the black one that I have. The ball is the white one from Yachi that they sent me. I opened in the same one and the razor for today. The razor for today. This is one I've been waiting for for a long time. I have this, the Occam's Razor, the Occam's Enoch with my name on it. That's my favorite SE until now. I don't know if this came first or the one I'm about to show you came first or the, the original of it. I think this was made after this one. This one, the Asylum. What's the name? Asylum, um, Asylum RX, the version two. It's 107 grams. All in all, it's 4.25 inches in the length. The handle of it is 86 millimeters. The grippy part or the bottom part from here to down there is two and a half inch. So the balance point is right here on the razor is 316L steel and it uses of course uh, the artist club style blades. I have used this once. I used my preferred um, feather professional blade and I found it a little rough. Maybe because I got a wrong angle and then I went to their website and it says if you're using this as a daily driver, which I'm not, um, but you want a more mild shave put in a Proline P30 or a Kai Mild Titan. And in it, I have now a Chic Proline P30. So it should be mild enough for me to use. I have a two and a half day stubble, or no, that's not true, a two day stubble. And let's get this party started. <laughs> so, look at this, man, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful scent. I don't know, I've never uh, smelled the London by Men by Burberry, but if I get the chance, I most certainly will, because this is a cologne, masculine, yet cologne scent. It has no dark notes, it's all fresh, cologne, manly. Just like I would expect Mr. 007 to smell like at least the old elegant version of him not the brute that played him the last the Scottish brute that's how I feel I'm sorry I'm not trying to offend anyone I'm not a, a Daniel Craig James Bond fan so I'm more of a Roger Moore Pierce Brosnan uh, James Bond fan but that's because I read the books, and in the books, he's very elegant. 
delicate, uh, almost a bit uh, decadent. So he's very upper class. So I, and I don't think either Sean Connery or Craig, what's his name? You know, the new James Bond, Daniel Craig has that. They are too, they are too rough. They don't have that stylish way about them. So, I am a big James Bond fan, however, so, and I know it's like religion, kind of. Uh, most people that like James Bond has their favorite one, and they have their very special reasons for him. Uh, a very special reason for picking the one they prefer. So, this is definitely feeling a bit smoother. I think I'm not. Sh I'm, I'm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I just caught myself at my usual spot, oh. and I just caught myself again. Something is wrong with the angle. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong here. So, sorry about that. I felt it immediately when I put it to the skin. So, let me just try to use a little, little elm. I know you don't want a James Bond shape to bleed all over, but that's what I'm doing here. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, sorry about that. Only goes to, oh, that's the wrong razor. I just picked up the Enoch. Okay, the Enoch is only 80 something grams, so this is a bit, a bit more, a bit heavier. So, I need to focus on the angle. So, I have a stinging in my upper lip right now from the alum. So, but you know what? You win some and you lose some. And you drop some soap. <laughs> so far, I haven't found the correct angle or whatever it is, the correct blade. I actually bought the, the light uh, blade from the feather that no one knows about because it's only 7.4 millimeters long uh, and not 8 millimeters like most artist club blades are. But the hole in the middle was too small, so it didn't fit in the razor. So, and that's how it is. Maybe I need to go a little more cabby. Need to ride the cab a little, I think. Yeah. But you need to find the sweet spot. Because if you go too much riding the cab, there's no blade at all. So, this is not a beginner racer by far. This is a eraser, you need to focus on the angle. Go a bit steeper, right the cap. Well, is that wider? I don't know, I never know. So that's a wider angle, isn't it? And not steeper. And I didn't even get soap up there. 
So this is a terrible shape or a terrible terrible technique. I just did it again. If you go in too steep, you will cut yourself. Or at least I will. There's no us. There's no we. In this shape. Whatever is said on my channel is what I think, what I believe, and how I see it. And I forgot to focus on the magnificent handle here. Look at that. Has it's transparent, has goldy something rocks in here. And then you can see right through it. It's a fantastic handle with a marvelous knot. The Bushman knot. Bushman, no, the bus knot is a magnificent knot. Okay, so. Let's have a feel. Everything's fine. I chopped off my upper lip, but you know what? You win some and you lose some. And the captain is in today and he's flying air yellow again. So let's give this. Doo -doo. This is your captain speaking. Please be seated, fasten your seatbelt, put your table to an upright position, and wash your face with the yellow face cloth. Oh, yeah. A little redness, most likely my my doing, annoying my neck. Who else is doing? Would it be? I know, I'm a fool. I know. The aftershave for today is the Pinot Clubman mask. That's the most cologne one I have, I think, of the masks. Oh, sorry, of the Clubman Pinots, and this will sting like hell. Oh yeah, Pr plenty of burn down here, over here, and up here. So maybe I should just have stuck with my feather professional blade. Because this wasn't as enjoyable as the first shape of this. But you win and you lose some. The balm is the uh, gentleman's pride. That I so fortunately, um, I was so fortunate to win in Maya's Magic's uh, giveaway six or seven, eight or eight months ago in the fall, I think. Has that colony vibe to it, and you know what? Everything's fine now. A little bleeder there, but let's not. Just the entire shave, just from a little weeper. That's because I made a mistake, or I had, I had a little, uh, what do you call it, bump there, I think. So, what I always do up here. Okay, so like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo, out.